and game two of our ABC Sports College football doubleheader from the ACC, one of the teams in the championship mix, not in the conference, nationally. Miami, number four in the BCS standings, taking on the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest. Senior day here at Grove Stadium, Winston-Salem. Mike Tirico, Tim Brandt, Susie Schuster joins us in a second. Timmy, the other tight end, threw that nice block downfield to make it a huge game. They get it to Nate Morton. Receiver on the reverse is stopped. He'll lose a couple of yards. Brandon Merriweather on the tackle. Two receivers after the loss of three. Barclay on second and 13 gets stuck and sends it back the other way. Romeo Davis came in. He and McIntosh, the linebackers, got on the other side of the line of scrimmage for third and even longer now. Third and 14, that's Tereshinsky in motion. The tight end coming back at you. He's one of the three receiving options as Randolph screams it to Barclay. Could not make the man miss Rocky McIntosh in the open field. The ball came out, but after Barclay was down, took a fourth down and empty from the 36. You know, you can hear the crowd get excited because it looked like the play was set up perfectly. And it was for just that instant. But then you've got McIntosh, number 50, who's got such speed, gets off a block, and then watch him run. Gets off another block and comes up and just explodes and destroys the screen pass. The screen looks like he's coming on the blitz, now backs out. Third and three throw is complete. Through the first down to Darnell Jenkins, who slipped and fell. First and ten, play action for Wright, trying the deep ball with Ryan Moore. Holds it in at the 22-yard line. A pickup of 41. Riley Swanson in the corner on the ball. The time that he had, the play action, he's got time, he sets up, and there's nothing fancy about it. It's just a quick, long post pattern. And Moore just outruns Swanson. The pass was perfectly thrown. He lays out and makes the catches. There's nothing Swanson can do. King Jolly in the game. He's up at the top. Sonaris Moss joins him over there. Couple of receivers. And Jones behind the lead block to the 15 and more. Charlie Jones inside the five. First and goal for the Canes of the two. Tony Teller, the right guard, led the way. And then Jones did it for 18 yards afterwards. Canes just power it and go for a tight end. Jones, Craving, pounding into the end zone. Touchdown. So Miami, in about three and a half minutes, answers the Wake Forest field goal with Jones' second rushing touchdown in as many games. With here on third and two, Barclay's 10th carry of the game. He's not going to get the first down. And he stopped shy of the line of scrimmage. Again, Kenny Phillips, at least his third tackle in the first quarter. Second quarter. Retract myself. That's a good one. <laughs> Five pressure right. He's got time though. And he's got Ryan Moore down the sideline. First down. Out of bounds at the 39. Santana's got a big game tomorrow against Tampa Bay. Yep. Blitz picked up. Wright has time. Throw is complete to Moore. First down at the 42 yard line. Good job by everybody up front. Gotten it for first down. And they just run the little bubble out to Darnell Jenkins, who makes a man miss in the open field and turns it in. To, uh, very close to a first down. It'll be it was against the Hokies. And we had 40 carries before he was pressed into service there. This is what he does well. Take it to the next level. Into the end zone. Charlie Jones, second Miami touchdown. 32 yards. Off the right tackle, right where he went following McMeans. This time they didn't pull McMeans and get him out in front. The hole open. And there's nobody there. Watch him take this thing right off to the right, but this time McMeans is not in front of him. Sidestep, slides, gets a block from the fullback, and then cuts to the outside and outruns everybody. Jones, two touchdowns. Three minutes in, second quarter, and Miami leads by 11. He hasn't done anything wrong on offense so far until that fumble recovered by McIntosh. Timing is everything. And Miami. Randolph never had the snap. Got a Bumbled it, bangled it, kicked it, knocked it down. And Miami's offense has great field position. Great look at the snap. Bobbled it. Never really had it, as you said. And then just kicked around. And look who comes up with it. What a game. McIntosh is playing. He's everywhere. Wonderful person to be around in addition to his stats. Another reverse. This is a reverse pass thrown by Morton downfield for Chris Davis. He's got it. Is he got it? Earlier this 
this year was against Florida State. So it only goes against the big guys. To the tight end, Greg Olson across the 30. And this terrific sophomore takes it to the 31, a first down after a pickup of 16. Patrick can chip picture if Alabama or USC or Texas should stumble. Right down the middle. Beautiful catch by Moss. Sonaris has speed. Sonaris moves down the sideline and all the way. Yeah. Touchdown, Miami. Sixty-four yards, the speed of Moss. Taking it all the way, his fourth touchdown reception of the year. Well, in the first seven games, a Miami Moss had a 100-yard game. Either Tyrone or Sonoris. And with Tyrone gone, it's got to be Sonoris. They're playing in a soft zone. He finds the crease. The ball is perfectly, but he goes up and gets it. Great hands. And his explosion here is phenomenal. Second and six here for Wake. Down the line, looking for the deep ball to double coverage of Morton. Intercepted by Kelly Jennings. With a lot of room to run and picking up blockers. Beeson threw a great block. Jennings down the sideline, pushed out of bounds at the 28 yard line. Steve Ballos, the offensive tackle, made the tackle. But Miami, not only the interception, but they have it in great field position. Anchorage. Look at this. They've got him locked both ways. 19 Merriweather and Jennings inside out. Ball's just a little bit overthrown. His guy didn't really have a good chance at it. 22 Jennings comes down with it. After the flag, it's actually going to be first and 16 because it comes from the spot of the foul. And here comes the run with Quatrin Hill into the secondary. Hill carries tacklers to the 10-yard line. 24 yards. I think this guy is so important for Miami here down the stretch. This strobe is, and what a good job he's done here. Second down, the throw is hauled in by Jenkins, who has blockers and takes it to the end zone for a touchdown. Wolschlager, the center, who's been flagged three times in the first half, got out there and threw a big block to lead Jenkins into the end zone for his second touchdown reception of the year. Mike, the just about now to break that loose. First down, Barclay lost the football. Miami's got it back. Barclay, who rarely, rarely fumbles, comes up with one there. And Kenny Phillips, the freshman, takes over for the Canes, and this could be disastrous. Only fumbles about once every 200-some carries, which is spectacular. This one, it looked like he never really got the handoff. A season where you're thinking about getting healthy and bulking up and getting bigger. Third and seven, Davis is the move man. Randolph in trouble, and he's brought down. Sacked by Kalis Campbell. Out of Denver, the redshirt freshman. has a brother at Colorado State. He's a wide receiver. Very tall guy. Played some basketball in high school, but he's a natural football player. He rolled right into it, and Barclay missed his block. Out of the left hand of your screen, then tried to grab him and couldn't get him. Ron Moss, the running back, who's out with the knee injury for the rest of the year, gave him a lot of that after-the-contact run ability. Big throw, big catch. There goes Lance Leggett. All the way for a touchdown. This is a game Riley Swanson's going to want to forget. A 76-yard touchdown pass to Leggett, who has been much maligned for his drops earlier this season, but he picks up his second touchdown reception on the year. It was 17-14 Wake Forest with less than five minutes to go in the half. Since then, Miami has awakened with three big touchdowns. comes Barclay. He lost the football for the second time today. And Miami recovers. Greg Threat, the backup safety, comes up with the fumble. This is the guy, as we mentioned when it happened before, who uh, mishandles it once every 220 or so touches and has uh, put it down twice today. So uncharacteristic it had to happen here on senior day with NFL scouts, and that one just kind of slipped out of there. You say, oh my gracious, what a nightmare this kid has had. Has all that you would ask for. Jones into the secondary. First down at the 30. Charlie Jones gain of 14.
Picking up a bit on the return. There's the touchdown. Beautiful throw from right, right over the linebacker to Olsen. 47-17, Miami. Hit me. Don't hit me. Randolph takes over now. Here's Corey from the 45. That throw is intercepted by Merriweather. Not only was it a great pick, he stayed inbounds. Then, in one smooth move, he leaped over the bench. Well, that part's all great, but I, I mean, the ball was thrown right to him. It was here. Oh, yeah. An Alabama LSU game has been entertaining today, tied at 10. As they play the fourth, Thomas Carroll made the tackle of Bryant and Newman. He's played in most of the games this year. Miami's had such big leads. After that Florida State game, he's gotten his opportunities. Andrew Johnson takes it out to the 42 yard line. Nice job. It's restarting. Mock, fourth down, flushed, sack. Back at the 45 yard line. Teraz McCray comes in. It's a, it would be 28 yard field goal attempt. Never got off in the fourth quarter. The Knowles won 10 7. And on the run, Deron Thomas takes it inside the 30 into the 27-yard line. If final play of the Wake Forest season, it is Mock throwing deep for Idolette. It is intercepted, and that will do it. Miami lost to Florida State. They've won all the games in between. Here's Susie with the five touchdown man of the day, Kyle Wright. Indeed, Mike. Thanks very much. You tied a school record tonight. Five touchdowns, five touchdown passes completed. You talked earlier about what it means to join this vaunted list of Miami quarterbacks. What does that record mean to you tonight? Well, I mean, I, I, didn't, I didn't come out today thinking about a record. You know, I think um, I got to give a lot of credit to the O-line and wide receivers. I mean, they... Had a, had a couple balls where I just get, got it to them and uh, they went and made plays, you know, a couple long touchdown runs. So, you know, uh, those guys played a hell of a game. 11-minute stretch over the second and third. Miami forces six turnovers, gets 515 yards and wins 47 to 17. ABC Sports is online at ESPN.com. Search ABC Sports. Tomorrow night, Brown Steelers ESPN. Monday night, Cowboys Eagles. Our final Miami wins by 30 with Susie Schuster, Tim Grant, and the women and men of our ABC Sports College football team. Mike Tarico saying so long from Winston-Salem.